Hello, it's Robin from EnjoyStampin.com and I wanted to share um, one of my recent projects with you. I'm actually hoping that you'll help me out. Um, my book got a bit thick and it won't lay flat and so I'm ha actually hoping that you'll uh, leave me some comments and let me know what you think I should do as far as uh, what type of a closure I should uh, include on this. I'm going to, once I figure out the closure situation, I'm going to add um, my title which this is a book for my family, so it'll have something, you know, something sentimental for them. But um, and then I thought about implementing this Delia fold flower uh, to the front. So we'll see what what happens. But um, I'm actually hoping that you will help me with this. Uh, let me just show you real quick what I did. I have a chipboard cover that I just covered with the pattern paper, and inside the bottom of the first bag, I actually used. Um, for a pocket for the inside cover and I added a couple of tags for that and then this would be my first page I added a little pocket with the space for three more tags for journaling or pictures and then I used our scallop die scallop circle die for the big shot it's scallop number two I believe and I added a little closure I needed three because it kept flopping around still so but I actually added a place for journaling or pictures and um, so lots of space there on both sides and then I added um, some Stampin' Up! rub-ons hmm. this one's not closing okay and then oh, of course the, the tags that are so nice with the uh, paper bag books um, again I haven't done anything with these yet but this page I included uh, one of our top note dies from Stampin' Up! and I made it into a pocket, a little pouch. I actually um, made a gift card holder tutorial on that um, in one of my other YouTube videos, but I just had a little place for journaling and then I used our scallop circle punches to make the little tab. And then on this uh, bottom of this bag, um, I just made a little pocket and a little tag here. I haven't done anything with that yet. And then this is uh, another top note die, which I've cut in half. And you can put something under there and then under the scalloped border there. Um, here, you can put something under the pocket. I used, um, oh, what is it called? My embossing buddy. <laughs> I couldn't think of it. I used my embossing buddy to take away some of the adhesive uh, portion of this to make a little pouch there. And then on here, I used a scallop circle again, the same size. I added a dahlia uh, fold flower. I put one of our pretties from the pretties kit. Um, I cut out two of the scallops and I uh, made a little flap for them with a piece of, I think it's one inch by two and a half inch piece of cardstock. I folded in half. I adhered one end to the bottom of the uh, back scallop and then between the, the vanilla paper and the cardstock on the top. A place for journaling. And then another little closure. And then here's the tags for this. Again, nothing on them, so I'm going to pull those all the way out. And then here's another top note, and I just made another pouch there um, with a place for journaling or pictures. Lots of space for lots of pictures and, and um, another little pouch there. This is a chipboard. Um, I cut it out with my nest abilities, and it doesn't cut all the way through, but I did finish it off with my craft knife, and I ran a piece of pattern paper and adhered it to the top. This is Butterflies, which is an exclusive Stampin' Up! die for the Big Shot. I adhered two of those on here and then put a little uh, bling on that. And this, I just made a little pouch on this bottom flap. And I used our four petal die uh, and then I just made it into a little, another little place for a tag. Stick that back in there. And this has a, a vellum, it's double layered again, butterfly with the vellum one on top and a little space there. Uh, this is our scalloped envelope die, which is another exclusive to Stampin' Up! and made a little tag for that. A couple more of the um, the tabs here, the little in the pockets. And over here, I just, this is a um, another stamp, or another uh, Big Shot die and Stampin' Up! doesn't carry it, but I added a window sheet behind it so you can slide a picture down in there and then this is another little space you can put something in there and then I saw this on another YouTube tutorial uh, where somebody had used an envelope a number 10 envelope and created this really unique uh, pocket little pouch and I really liked it I'm so sorry I don't know uh, I don't remember who it was but I will put it on the screen because 
you need to check out her YouTube tutorial. She did a first class job on it. I did not use um, her exact measurements on things because the envelope was too wide for the flap, the bottom flap of the uh, bag. So I just customized it a bit using her technique, um, but I used just copy paper is what I started off with. And uh, four tags here. You can put journaling or more pictures. And I really appreciate her sharing that because it, I really had fun making it. It was really a, a good technique. So and here's another chipboard on uh, nestabilities. And then this is just a card pattern um, that's been around for a long, long time. I've made them, oh, for, I don't know, I think, well, I've only made them for about a year and a half, but I know they've been around quite a bit longer than that. But I wanted to implement it on to my paper bag book. So it's just a little slider. It's a paper bag, uh, uh, the plastic grocery sack technique. I'm not sure if it even has a name, but um, if you email me, I will, I will try and find the source of that and then uh, get that to you if you'd like to make one. It's a lot of fun, real easy. It looks tricky and complicated, but it was, and it just took a few minutes. And then here's some more pockets here. Let's take these ones out. And then the last bag, uh, again, top note behind it, the frame with the window sheet, and you can slide a picture down here. I added a little charm and a little safety pin. Another pretty from the Pretties kit and one of our rhinestone brads. I wish I would have stamped on this before I adhered it, but it was one of those hindsight is 2020 things. So once I'd already got it closed up and couldn't get to it anymore, I thought, oh, I should have done that, but I like it anyway. And then this is the bottom of the last bag, and I just made another pocket out of that and added a tag. And then this is just a chipboard piece from the inside frame here, um, which I added a little sentiment for my family. Just a little hidden spot there. So, um, And these are the bags that I use. They're just regular common uh, grocery or lunch bags. And I'm not sure I think I picked them up at Walmart or something. But um, So anyway, I would really appreciate if you would let me know what you think I should do as far as a closure. Because... Um, I just can't figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you have a great day. Enjoy stamping. Bye-bye.